All right, this is gonna be the more technical portion of this video. If you're not interested in any stats or what I actually did to build this, you might wanna skip this and uh, stay tuned for the next video. But as you just seen, uh, it runs, it starts under its own power, it breaks, um, and it meets all the other requirements for the competition. So the Hasman build is officially done. Um, so uh, start off, it's a Dynamark. Um, the frame is a one by two square tubing chassis that I built that is uh, very similar to the stock chassis size. Uh, lengthwise, it's exactly the same um, width. In the back here, there was a little bit of bump out in the frame and then it got skinnier up front. I actually made the whole entire frame the same width as that back bump out. So that's the only difference. Um, it has a 16 horse uh, Briggs & Stratton Vanguard with a uh, Riker Racing two barrel intake with a stock carburetor and a set of 18 horsepower Riker Racing heads with uh, dual valve springs and uh, so yeah it rips a little bit more than stock uh, I was going to get a cam but I think I might go big block so that's why I did not end up getting the cam for the build off it has a peerless 820 in the rear um, it has a three link uh, front suspension design uh, I made my own fuel cell back here underneath the rear fender but uh, just just a quick overview and then I'll take off the hood and I'll explain to you some other Before I get into anything else we got a set of Nylite uh, LED pod lights the round ones uh, they do not come with uh, yellow lenses I got some yellow film and doubled it up to uh, give it a little yellow to match my seat now to get underneath um, this engine cage I built out of three quarter inch square tubing and uh, it is fully removable you take out these four bolts and this will pop off and that's what saved me during the rollover because if not the whole entire hood of what hood of, yeah the whole entire hood would have been smashed all mangled up potentially it could have ruined my motor also but that cage is still sturdy it's not bent at all and it is uh, holding up very well now also that cage it brings extra support into my shock mounts or yeah my shock mounts so that helps out with the uh, distributing the load and force up into this uh, one by one square tubing that I made into my upper shock mounts my front axle is just a piece of two by two by eighth inch um, square tubing that I put some knuckles on and then you can see my uh, direct steering center link down there and also my pan hard bar or drag link whatever you want to call it so now my links for the front end are just some more three quarter inch square tubing and it comes back to this center piece uh, the lower links have a bend in it and the upper one is just a straight link kind of see it a little bit better on this side but uh, you can see the suspension works my newest addition is this pull start I actually had to make a uh, spacer because this uh, starter recoil and cup came off of a big block and the uh, flywheel is a little bit taller on those so We did hook up a choke, so now we have fully functioning. You pull out the choke, push it in, obviously, but I did not have that before. Whenever I was at Haspen and I had to cold start it, I had to reach up underneath the hood and press up on the choke. But now we have that. Um, just a little shift knob off of eBay. I did end up putting some... Uh, uh, stamped aluminum on the clutch pedal to give it a little bit of extra grip on your foot whenever it gets muddy 
Also, these remote reservoir shocks I got off of eBay. Um, just some Chinese shocks. I ended up wrapping with the vinyl around the reservoir to match some of the other stuff like the uh, the exhaust exit plate right there. Two and one headers up here with a side exit out of the side of the hood. Something a little bit different. Um, it does get a little bit warm under the hood, but nothing to uh, damage anything. Like I was saying, I have a uh, twin barrel carb from Riker Racing and some 18 horsepower heads from uh, Riker Racing on this 16 horse Vanguard. It's ungoverned with a thumb throttle. I did have a... This was originally my foot throttle, but uh, my rear brake setup was not working out as well as I wanted it to, so I came up with this thumb throttle situation. Uh, this choke cable comes around, mounts the same exact spot where the throttle cable does, and then I come up here and I made this uh, thumb throttle. It works out pretty decent. Uh, I like it a lot better than having to use your whole hand on a hand throttle. You know, just some a little bit of some aluminum pieces, some a little bit of aluminum angle to mount the cable. And then I just took this spring and fed the cable through the spring so try and clean it up a little bit. We have a light switch here, a kill switch, start switch. And then for uh, running through the woods at night at Haspen or coming up behind somebody, you got the car alarm. Now back here to the back of the mower, we have my uh, aluminum fuel cell that I made. I think it'll hold over a little bit over a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons. Cannot remember 100%. But um, hydraulic disc brakes, and then we have the Peerless 820. We have the ROMS uh, Peerless uh, Gear Set 1 upgrade in it, so it's not the one-to-one -one ratio, it's the, uh, I can't, re I think a final drive is like 5.0 something to 1, but um, it helps speed up a little bit. There's a, I believe that's a 5 inch on the transaxle, and then I have a what was that? Oh no, I have a five on the motor and a six on the transaxle. So I wasn't looking for something super fast, but I definitely wanted to be able to get from point A to point B pretty quickly if need be. And then of course I have these uh, ITP rock ringed rear wheels. They're aluminum. Uh, I made some spacers. And adapters out of some uh, go-kart hubs for the rear they are dual rock ring one on the outside of the rim and one on the inside wrapped in some 18 by nine and a half by eight uh, Carlisle V treads and then on the front here we have my uh, these are Carlisle uh, X tracks or what are they? I think they're X tracks, but they're 18 by six and a half by eight, which I was kind of disappointed. They're run a little bit low, uh, short on size. They're not true 18 inch, but um, these are just regular uh, garden tractor wheels off of like a Craftsman GT or one of the bigger Cubs. And what I did was. I got some uh, 14 gauge um, steel and I cut out a 8 inch ring and uh, I actually drilled all these holes by hand and then I cut out the red zero 2 with the plasma cutter by hand and then just uh, welded it up onto the wheels. Gives it a little bit extra strength. It uh, doesn't really do a whole lot. It will help out if I break a... a pop a tire and have to run on the rim for a while I won't have to worry about that bead bending as easily as it would if that uh, 
ring was not there but it is definitely a lot for the look aspect I wanted it to match the rear wheels a little bit but um well there it is guys I hope you like the Haspen build uh, I wish everybody else that's entered in the competition uh, the best of luck. I do hope that you guys uh, enjoy this uh, build as much as I do. I would definitely love to win first place again this year. Um, it, as long as I top, post top three, uh, I think I'm going to take a break for a couple years. Um, it's very stressful trying to get these things done in the amount of time that I usually get them done. Um, there's been a lot, a lot of custom fab work into this mower. It's complete custom chassis, everything, a whole bunch of great parts in it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Hopefully you can vote for Red Zero 2 and the Haspen build for the 2018 All-Terrain Lawn Tractor build-off competition. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I'll answer them up. If not, go on my uh, forum. Uh, link will be down in the description uh, Check it out read it. There's a lot of great info on there Or if you want to figure out how I did something on it. I got a lot of pictures also So uh, hey each and every one of you have a wonderful day Make sure you subscribe and make sure you vote uh, Haspen build red zero two for the build-off competition. Thanks guys